All right, so it's 6.09 p.m. Um, on Thursday the 16th. We'll call the Conway Grammar School meeting to order. So, call to order. Phil, does someone second that? Ah, second, yes. There you go, just checking. All right. Um, is the first order of business uh, approving the minutes from the last meeting? Review and approve minutes of well, September 21st mm -hmm. and October 5th. Oh, okay. Make a motion to approve the minutes. William and then Ashley. I'll second it. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, 10 warrants in the amount of $52,051.18. Okay, so it's about. Um, all yeah, all in favor of approving yeah. the minutes? Oh, I thought that was done. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in favor. Yeah, yep. okay. yeah okay. good thing. All right, mm -hmm. the minutes are approved. Okay. So, uh, the financial statements and uh, the signing of warrants. The, finan the warrants are going around, and okay. those are in the amount of $52,051.18. Okay. And um, the financial statement you have. William, if you're taking, are you trying to take minutes? Because I have a template, and Jeremy's oh, cool. doing it right now. Oh, oh right, oh, Jeremy. I'm just mm -hmm. making some notes. So, okay. yes. Yeah, okay. We can compare after. Sure, it's really nice of you. <laughs> cool. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, next is public comment. Do we have public office? comment? I don't think yeah. we have public comment. Okay. <laughs> and unfinished business, none. Discussion items, none. Votes required, none. New business. Discuss the recommendation from the superintendent to convene an advisory subcommittee to meet roughly three times a year to advise her on goal development, mid cycle, and year end progress on meeting the goals. Mm -hmm. And if you look, I'm so sorry, if you look in this packet here, the agenda is three pages. Hey, Elaine. Hey, Elaine. You guys got started? Just did the minutes. Right here. Okay. Right. an extra ballpoint pen. Mm -hmm. You do? You do, thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. So you approve the minutes? I did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, financial statements? Yeah, I'm sorry, Phil. In this template, it says uh, that the total number of warrants, which we talked about, was $52,051.18. But then it says number of warrants. Do you mind giving that a count to the see a cover page that said the total for all of them but oh is that um is this the cover page fill it that's ten ones oh is it right <laughs> it's probably <laughs> ten warrants sorry oh. takes a village <laughs> yes it does because you always says that yeah. you're into the room you saw it Oh yeah. Okay. So financial statements. Are you Patty? We pass those out. Yeah. We pass out the financial statements. Okay. <coughs> Does anyone have any questions? No. No, I didn't. I have reviewed them before. I didn't have any questions. Right. She said before. We're on target. We are. Mm -hmm. So we're on target. Okay. Public comment. Did you do that? Oh, you did do that? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, it's public. <laughs> we have um, Emma Linderman, who's our school psychologist. Yeah. You know, Emily Tynan, who's our secondary teacher. Yeah. We'll be talking to you. And Amelia Kuminardi, who's on our school council. She and Jeremy and I will give you a first look at the school group. Okay. Amelia has a um, son in third grade. Awesome. So, do we want to go on to new business? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Discussion items, uh, recommendation of the superintendent conveyed advisory committee. 
meet roughly three times a year to advise on goal development, mid-cycle, and year-end progress on meeting the goals. Requires a vote. Um, I am willing to be a member of this committee, this subcommittee. So. Um, I am as well. Yeah. So. Um, I, I think it would be good to form a subcommittee and do that. Let's see why not. Mm -hmm. All it costs us is time. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got plenty of that. Yeah. Three times a year so. is better than ten times a year. <laughs> What's that? Three times a year is better than ten right. times a year. Right. I'm sure it'll be mm -hmm. as needed. Yeah. Not definitely from the last joint mm -hmm. meeting, there's mm -hmm. some something that needs to be mm -hmm. clarified and improved upon. Mm -hmm. so, anyway. I think you're going to be having your meetings quickly. She did commit to having her goals revised and introduced in the yep. December meeting. Yeah. Yep. So. So. Okay. Okay. so to seem like a good amount for the subcommittee? Oh, uh, well, it's not just our board, it's oh. the whole board. Oh, so, gotcha. Right. Yeah. So. Cindy is the uh, chair of it, I think. Okay. Frontier. So, all we need now is to vote on whether we agree with establishing, supporting the superintendent vote, and then yep. we'll go from there. Okay. So. And Frontier already voted for it. Okay. So, can I have so. a so motion? I, I'll make a motion to. Uh, form a second. All second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, unanimous. Okay. Um, and that is our only new business, I believe. Correct? That's right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, on to reports. Uh, I just want to report on going to the conference on the Cape. Um, so <coughs> four of us went. That's great. Um, it's great. yeah, it was, uh, the, the sessions that I went to were very useful and the keynote speaker on Thursday, I thought was very dynamic. Um, what was, it was it Bill Daggett? Or Bill? Bill Daggett, yeah. yeah. Oh. Who is about the future of education yeah. and, um, he was just really very dynamic, I thought, and spoke from a as a father with five kids at the whole range of educational, from top flyers to you know people who kids who needed a lot of support. So, um, but he just showed some great videos about how if we don't sort of keep up with modernizing, mm -hmm. we're going to be left behind because mm -hmm. what's important now. It's not going to be important mm -hmm. <laughs> to in 20 years. Uh, so it was useful. Was a great speaker. So yeah, he was really good. So and some of the other things that I attended also. I don't know what so you on uh, social emotional learning. Yeah. That was uh, really valuable. Yeah. And um, I, I attended a uh, goal setting workshop. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did great. Yeah. So it was great. My highlight was hanging with the Auditor General and uh, this <coughs> Ben Tafoya who's uh, running the whole research project out of there on solutions to rural school issues uh, in our state. And it actually, I think the reason that uh, this was handed to us, the, uh, first of all, she, it, there's a 50 page report that this references that is just completed. Um, and it's worth checking out. They really have their finger on the pulse of the the large scale issues that uh, you know that are baked in that we're dealing with. Um, and they uh, they're doing a lot of good stuff about getting regional transportation funded 100. percent But the interesting that would thing, help out a lot. <laughs> so and they have all of these little pro pilot things that they're working on. They got little pots of money, and they were looking for districts that. And so one of the things that they were looking for was a district that would volunteer to be a part of a pilot program that would result in a single tax rate across all member towns. And that DESE would, for one year, supply the money necessary to do that, but they would also have various infrastructure recommendations that they would be buying. But it's a pot of money, 
and I signed up as a, I, I expressed Good luck getting so, our to four towns. The, the thing about, the okay. thing that amazed me is that they actually contacted us and they did their, and their own, de demographically were homogeneous enough that they are interested in this, in, in us. So that might actually be something. It might all, it might really be horrible and probably what they want is really onerous and totally not doable for us, but who knows. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway. I thought that the conference was actually very useful. Mm -hmm. So, was yeah. it good attendance in general? I didn't. It, um, for, yes, too good because those rooms are not uh, big enough. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah like the, standing uh, room only. We built Daggett was standing room. And uh, just packed in, and I don't. They got to do something about that venue. You didn't have to register ahead of time. You for just each session, no. No. They do that. That's the new thing, and then yep. the rooms people end up standing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, people even if they register jump rooms anyway. True. Mm -hmm. It was just they're just too True. small. And, then and the other highlight is we had a break and we walked down to the beach right, right yeah. near there and we found the Kennedy compound, <laughs> which was really it? cool. Oh, <laughs> and because you, they, they don't really want, it's not like a tour, they, they live there. And, on video. Um, yeah. and they, oh, I'm sure he's on video. They, they, had their, they had their stairways to the beach roped off. They didn't want people there, but uh, I was persuaded to climb up one of them. We got some some good pictures of the lawn where they played the foot, the, the, you know. That's that, awesome. It was really cool. Yeah. It was really cool. so it was, it was awesome. awesome reading about the kidneys. Yeah. Me too. And the entire school committee did not get arrested, so that was also <laughs> a good, a good yeah. thing. I would have come to get every one of you <laughs> <laughs> proudly. Oh, That's great. Anyway, did so you have some good dinners? And yeah, actually. The, the, yeah, definitely. It's um, nice that so many were able to go. That yeah, great. it really was. So. Um, okay. Any. No collaborative report since the last one. There was a collaborative meeting last night, but I didn't, I didn't go. Okay. All right. I didn't have a babysitter. All righty. I could have dropped him off with him yesterday. I would have taken him. <laughs> no superintendent report. There is oh, one okay. in the packet, and it looks like um, Lynn um, wrote about the... Um, All of us the, going. Yeah. And yeah. then um, the MCAS 2. Yeah. Um, and Louise will be here in December to present the results. Um, and then she attended the Mass Association of Regional Schools last week for the results of a study titled Supporting Student Community Success. That's okay. exactly what you were talking about. Yeah. Author Suzanne Bump. Um, okay. thinking about. And then we do have a new first director of food services, Mary DeLusa. Um, she was the Deerfield cafeteria manager. She's lovely. She's really lovely. Um, and she's hopping right in, and she's really enthusiastic, and she's collaborative, and I think she's going to do a good job. Okay. Alrighty, and then your report. My report. Okay, so we have some some guests because I think it's important that you see what's going on in the school. So Emily brought something to us last year uh, called Class Dojo and only Emily was using it last year and the parents in Emily's class gave me such positive feedback and this year um, we have 95 percent of our classroom mm -hmm. teachers using mm -hmm. class dojo mm -hmm. we're getting to and the parents are <laughs> loving it we're yeah. getting there yeah. Yeah. so I asked Emily to come and give a, a short presentation of um, <coughs> what this is Jeremy has one up and running and and Neil, you, you use this as a parent, right? Absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. Love okay, it. so Emma, I'm going to turn off the lights so they can see. Okay, the sure. Oh, thank you, Jerry. <laughs> um, so part of our big push to try and get it for the whole school this year was um, we were working on a community interaction agreement last year, and we put out this survey, which you may or may not remember, asking for feedback about how our um, communication had been going so far and we got a lot of feedback saying people didn't feel connected anymore so um, in getting everybody all of the teachers to use class dojo we can kind of go school-wide and now we can have a, mm -hmm. a site just for the whole school as well where um, we can post things that are going on for everybody so um, hopefully this will help people to stay a little more in touch and to know what's going on I also hope and I tell me if this is not true but I hope that this will replace some of the robocalls about bake sales and stuff like Absolutely. that, which people were complaining about. Because mm -hmm. most of our parents are calls here. Yes. Yeah. Um, Is it possible to know what percentage of parents are using it? 
Oh, well, I can, you, like you can see how many people have viewed something, oh, right. and I believe there are there's 110 parents, oh, wow. um, and what there's like 130 something kids 30, in the school, yeah. so yeah, it's pretty so. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and I, so far I haven't heard anybody say you know oh I just never have internet or anything I can't get on this so wow. that doesn't seem to be a barrier. Mm -hmm. Um, at all. So we're just, this is a place where we can put lots of stuff that's going on in the school. Um, and then I thought I'd just show you what a class page can look like. This is um, our second grade class. So throughout the week, um, some weeks are better than others, just post things that are going on throughout the day. Um, we were working a lot on making friends this week and just what you can talk to about friends, what you can play with with friends, um, and the school committee meeting. Mm -hmm. yes, and also we did a little little dance with uh, kindergarten the other morning to get warmed up. So we had a picture of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the great thing is is that other teachers can now post on my page, so like my assistants can help with it as well. Um, and there's these really great growth mindset series that goes along with Class Dojo. It was created with Stanford and Harvard. Um, so there's one that's on growth mindset, there's one that's on empathy, uh, perseverance, gratitude. They're amazing like five minute videos which the kids really seem to love with this little character guy named Mojo, which is the green monster you see on here. So the parents can click on that. Yeah, and, see and so then they can see what we watch, exactly. And sometimes there's some follow up um, activities that you can do with that as well. So. Um, you know, we can just, I think it's really been, been helpful to be able to show in, in real time what's happening in the classroom. And then um, students also have their own individual stories over here, which they can take an iPad and they can take a picture or a video or just record themselves um, talking about something they're doing or taking a picture of something they're doing. So um, there was one student who read a book to his mom on there so she got to see it when she was having lunch or whatever and then at the end I love you mom I wish you were here so, so it was <laughs> just like one thing was really see. amazing that happened then is because there's a little guy um who the parents said that he he won't read to them he's never they like they believe us that he's reading mm -hmm. but he's never read to them he's really separates <laughs> home and school he's never read to them so they did a video i i was in tears they did a video of him reading mm -hmm. just so fluently and then mom that. and dad yeah. yeah mom and dad got it and it was it was a really great gift it was and the great thing about the student stories is that uh, can i click on her yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um Let's see, is that the only person who can see whatever's on the student story is the parent of that child. Nobody else can see it. So it's great when you can put videos of their child doing something. Um, so, yeah, and, and it's great that they get to show things that they're proud of, too, to their parents. And it can start conversations at home, whereas... She's in so the past, cute. you may not have known. Um, well, well, she's a girl. She. she. <laughs> you well, may I, not I have get known. that with Clayton all the time. <laughs> yeah. Um, in the past, you may not have known what was going on. So now you can say, "Hey, I saw you doing this. Tell me more about that." So, it's been really successful, and we, we hope to keep going. And I know that um, Kate Ms. Arsenault just helped Sue O'Reilly McCray to get a site up and going. So preschool will be starting really soon. Um, Okay. Yeah, and we welcome any feedback anytime about what would be more helpful on here and um, any any improvements we can make. Parents are loving it and one thing last year um, I got a lot of feedback on was when we did the when we had to go to Frontier because of the odor. Um, I didn't know this but then I was getting messages from parents um, how much they loved. Emily was posting pictures of the kids at Frontier and look at mom and dad we're doing this or we're doing that. And the parent, you know, it was not a safety issue in terms of kid safety, but the parents enjoyed seeing pictures of the kids in real time and that they were tr really okay and they were having fun at Frontier and everything was okay. Yeah, they were having a lot of fun. Yeah. Jeremy did, um, like when kids are out sick. We need to arrange sick. for that smell again. <laughs> yeah, we need more visits up there. Um, we, uh, when somebody was sick, you did a little thing, a little bit. The kids all. The mom was really excited about that, yeah. So the, so the kids are waving. I, when, when I was talking to Emily at the beginning of the year about it, I was nervous that it was going to be really time consuming. And now I talked to her about how can I slow myself down because mm -hmm. 
I will, you know, three or four posts is my average mm -hmm. for the day. I keep going and probably drive the parents crazy mm -hmm. um, with all these messages, but. Parents love hearing about their kids. Well, that, and the, the beauty of it is with, if you go into the messages to the parents, um, I did a letter ID with the kids the other day, so I wanted to see what upper and lowercase letters each of the, the students knew. I sat down, I did it with them, and then after they were done, I did a quick snapshot or a quick video of the kids talking about what they had learned, and that went straight to the parents. And it, it added maybe a minute extra to my, you know, my time assessing with them, but every parent got a little snippet of their, their kiddo saying, you know, I've learned, you know, 18 new letters in September and you know I'm working on the letter Q but it's such a great um, opportunity to connect with parents and have the kids show them what they're working on. Yeah and the messages part of it is actually really helpful um, so it's almost just like te text messaging with, mm -hmm. with a parent and you know we all set our own parameters about when and where we'll do that. I, For me I love just being able to answer respond right away or else I might forget when I get to work. Or, so I found that really, really helpful, and it, it's a, a way to just quickly get something out of the way, you know? Hey, did this, did my son not eat lunch, or was this a problem? You know, we can figure those things out quickly, so the next morning it's not a big deal anymore. It's been really, really great. And we can all post something under class, class story, and then it goes on, like Emily posted the, um, yeah, the clothing swap on class story, story, so yeah. it appears on every teacher's dojo. We've had teachers, um, do little mini lessons, show little mini lessons, like if there's a really hard math concept and you know when the kids go home, the parent, they've done little, like little clips of videos of the lessons or how they taught it so that parents can see. So thank you, Emily, for bringing it to the school. It's really awesome. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Happy that everyone How did you hear about it? Um, I think it was just one of those things like looking was for apps. Was it like a professional development no, kind of thing? No, it was like looking for apps related to education. What's this cute little monster? And at first, the the big push they say is, oh, you can. There's this point system where you can like award points to each kid for oh they raised his hand or being a good citizen. I don't do that because it feels really personal, so yeah. I just turn that part off. But good. that's yeah. why. Um, it's that's what it was being touted as, like, oh, you can use this as behavior, and yep. that, that part yeah. of it's silly, but I love the rest of it. Yeah, it's yeah. really great. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Emily. You're Thank welcome. you for Thank taking you. a little sure. time away from James. Oh, to hey. the school. he was getting <laughs> cranky anyways. Oh, perfect. Wait <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> yeah, till okay. you know he's back. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be waiting till I knew he was back. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. She's your yeah. mom. She's, she loves every minute of it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to just give a brief overview of the school improvement plan. Um, obviously not a vote tonight, but... Mm -hmm. So, this is in your packet as well, and I did email it. Our, we have four areas. We have great school counsel, um, Sarah Bressam, who has student in first grade and fourth grade. Jeremy's on it, Adina um, Gianelli, she has, she's a new parent, a kindergarten student. Um, Amelia has a student there, and then Jennifer Wheeler is the other teacher. So um, continue best practices in the classroom, expand differentiation, student choice, formative assessment, and open response uh, writing. So we're doing, I went, the principal work, the principal conference that I was able to go to this summer was really fabulous, and I went to a workshop called Redesigning Faculty Meetings. And so this year, I redesigned the faculty meetings so that we're really focusing and targeting instructional strategies. And what do folks feel about it? It's been amazing. It's like you want to go to it. Too. Great. Yeah. 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 They get disappointed when we have to cancel or something. <laughs> so, awesome. Which is awesome. We're doing peer observations, um, which has been great. We started this last year. Um, I don't know, I was on the phone with a parent, I left them alone for a little while, I came back and all the teachers had rearranged Jeremy's whole classroom within that time, so the PR observation's been really great. Um, See what happens when you leave them alone for a little while? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Elaine, I went to Maine this summer and they, they, they were sending pictures of like axes and stuff, I'm like, don't take down any walls in the library! <laughs> they wanted to read it. Um, I, I think Lynn mentioned at the last uh, meeting that um, our faculty was invited and accepted to pre present in a national teachers conference in March. Yeah. 
and so we're really Where excited at? about that. What'd you say? Where at? Boston. Oh, uh, Boston. It's in three three different states. We're thank goodness. We're going to Boston, and so it's all the classroom teachers and myself. And this is based on our work with Mike Anderson last year in oh, cool. school choice. He differentiated. He felt that we were really a model school for that, so we were excited about that. That's and cool. I think I told you when I came on board, my biggest challenge would be how to make great teachers even better. And you introduce something, and they just keep getting better. You know, it's 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 a great challenge to have cool. as a principal. Yeah, so we're excited that we'll be presenting and. We'll make it a weekend in Boston. We'll go to some good workshops and things. So that would be great. You should video it for us. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Put it on dojo. Put it on dojo, yeah. <laughs> um, and then we're really going to focus huge on STEM and science technology this year. The standards have changed. Um, although our science scores were definitely above state average, that was an area that we all know we want to improve in because we, the standards were sort of all over the place. So now that we know what they are, we're going to focus on that. Our read grant this year is focused on STEM. Um, I mentioned this in my letter, my thing later, but uh, John Heffelman, Heffelman came and met with Kate and I. John's and been trying since the kids were in. Well, he did the robotics first, first grade. Year, yeah. or He's great. Kindergarten. He's yeah. great. Um, he is, but so we're going to do an engineering day, um, which we're really excited about. We're trying to get him in to do some more robotics and stuff, but he's very, very busy. Yeah. Um, but with this REAP grant, we can do some of that. We've Jeremy's going to be talk about a workshop he went to in a little while. Um, so we have some great ideas for STEM and science and technology. Great. Jeremy's going to talk about number two, which is a combination of school safety and school climate. Can we jump into that? Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, so we've continued with um, safety and fire drills, um, working with the state and um, well, the state police and Kenny Lumet, mm -hmm. um, and adjusting that. It's been interesting to see how um, the safety drills have changed um, as more events happen. Sadly, and, as more events um, happen, yeah. But it's it's nice to see how quick they are to make those changes and relay them to us so we know uh, what to do and can keep on top um, when we're doing those drills. Um, working on uh, completing the reunification plan. Uh, we've been doing a lot with the school community, uh, monthly all school meetings. Um, tomorrow's our second one since we've revamped it. So we used to have all school sing um, and we've revamped that. And Emily, you've did you help lead the charge on that? No. Well, that, that kind of came out of that community interaction agreement yeah. as well. Okay. okay. Um, so, and Jen and Maggie did the first one. Where the parents come 15 minutes early for coffee and stuff, and then they stay after to visit the classrooms. Mm -hmm. We had a little issue. We had a, our first one early-ish, and not all the kindergartners had transitioned yet. So Jeremy had a couple parents who came after, and then there were a lot of tears lot of when tears. the parents left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so lesson learned, we have to wait a little longer into the school year. Tomorrow should be a piece of cake. We're hoping. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's at the end of the day. At the end of the day. Yeah. The day. Yeah. Yeah. They can yeah. leave with them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And especially the parents who had siblings, you know, they would leave the room and you have kids in tears and then they would come back to say goodbye afterwards. Mm -hmm. So it would start again. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 just <laughs> hang in there. You can do this. <laughs> um, the second step program, um, we've been continuing with that. Um, and that's uh, recently, I think in the past year or two, had the official bullying um, amendment tacked into it. So we're working on that. Right, there are now so four then, lessons specifically designed uh, to address bullying prevention. Um, they include recognizing bullying, understanding what bullying is, <coughs> so to recognize it. Um, they, the students learn to report bullying, to refuse bullying, and then there are, um, there's a lesson about um, bystander power. Um, and, um, in the upper grades, there's more emphasis on the bystander piece because um, we review the recognize, report, refuse, and then really focus on the bystander piece of it. Um, we've continued with the STARS committee um, and having um, town hall meetings um, as a school community. 
uh, continued with the student staff wellness committee, um, which it's actually been interesting to see that one evolve. Um, just two quick examples. Uh, I was driving in, I think it was 7.30 the other morning, mm -hmm. and teachers were, and assistants were walking out of the parking lot because they had gotten here really early so they could um, walk um, and get involved with the health piece. And when I was at lunch two days ago, um, one of the teachers came in and said, there's a student who wants to be walking right now um, during their recess time. And for, there had been, uh, I guess she'd gotten out of, out of class early, but she needed an adult to walk with her. And two of the teachers just hopped up during their lunch and flew out to go walk with her, which I just thought was incredible mm -hmm. too. You know, the kids are really taking on, it's a really nice <clears throat> community um, approach. Um, the PTO has been kind of restarted, right. which is incredible. Um, it's a nice group of people and they've really jumped right in. Um, the clothing drive they did today, um, that was them. They've got maple syrup fundraising going. Um, so how's that working out? I mean, that was a struggle to get started. The kids want maple syrup back. <laughs> you talk about the maple syrup? No, the PTO, because that was sort of a struggle to oh, get we, traction. Yeah. Um, last year, we, yeah, so last year I found that the parents were so involved and so willing to help whatever we needed, but parents weren't interested in the PTO if everyone's so busy. But we have um, a couple brand new parents to the school and um, two parents who had been on the PTO so there's about six of them, but they're strong and mighty and energetic, and they've already done so much um, with with many more plans to come. So I'm excited. It's really rolling along. Is there a faculty liaison? That yeah, so Rick Gifford had been there the last two meetings, and that, well, we always have, yeah, because <coughs> it's, it's a lovely, lovely PTO. It's really, it's really amazing. Um, I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've heard everything. <laughs> Well, there, there, there was one meeting, I don't know if it was the second one, that we didn't have somebody who could go. And it was funny to see staff popping in, like everyone yeah, yeah. could do it they at a different a time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had popped in, I was like, I can stay for 10 <laughs> yeah, minutes. Yeah. And when I was leaving, somebody else came in. It's like, it was great to see yeah. so many people involved. And they're meeting every three weeks right now, so they can really mm -hmm. get things moving along. Great group. Fabulous. Um, and then we're also working on uh, increasing mindfulness um, using Mind Yeti, which is a website that you go to, and it basically kind of talks the kids through um, doing deep breathing exercises and being aware of um, themselves, their breathing, what's going on around them. Um, and then using things like um, Superflex, um, which Miss Joe, um, Sir Muddy, does with us, um, and then. Emma's working with us too. Emma brought the um, mind yet to us, yay! And it's nice. They, they all kind of dovetail, um, which is very nice. Yeah. Great, thank you. The third, um, the third focus on focuses on diversity and equity and inclusion. So we're you know a predominantly all white elementary school, and so we're going to be working really hard this year. Um, we're going to be working with an organization called Crossroads, in um, form a committee, um, really learn how to, how to expose children. You know, it's not, it's not the literature and all that, giving, having literature that's multicultural is great, but it doesn't really give them experiences. So this is all sort of new to many of us, so we're going to be learning as we go along. Um, we're going to develop a cultural studies plan. So I know that you eliminated a Spanish teacher a couple years ago with the idea that we study different cultures. Um, so we have to sit down as a staff and s take a look at what that's going to look like. Last year, Conway, although it didn't fall into that category, but we dug deep and I thought we did. I thought that was great. You know, we lived, breathed, old Conway, new Conway, future mm -hmm. Conway, and, and that was great. So we're going to um, really sort of get something formalized and uh, you know, everyone the, on the school. The comes cultural from. diversity thing is we we had a culture for decades that was more. Uh, world, worldly divert. Uh, you know that had the uh, Mexican exchange program that went for decades. Mm -hmm. That the sixth grade used to go to Mexico for ten okay. days. Yeah, I just heard about yeah. that. I just and, heard about that. Um, yeah, we did. And that nine eleven put the kibosh on that. 
Um, yeah. But that, you know, that, that we used to be much more focused the world out at large than we are now. Right, right. They don't test the world at large, I guess. Yeah, another great America reason. must be great again, though. <laughs> there you go. Another great re reason to maybe um, formalize those frontier buddies, because frontier is much more diverse than, than we are. and um, We do have the Red Hawks that come down, which is great. but um, So we're, we're really going to focus a lot on that this year. Want to do the last oh, sure. one? Sure. Last one is um, communication and um, ensuring that we maintain an effective communication with the families and the community. And so um, one of them is um, increased opportunities for PR. And I think that, Kristen, you've taken the lead on that. Mm -hmm. We just got featured in the recorder not too long ago around test scores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this community communications committee, which is what Emily was talking about, how um, that's not necessarily a subcommittee of the school council, but Jen does sit on that. So we're kind of staying in touch with what's yeah. going on. Yeah. Perfect. And um, the staff, the parent staff interaction agreement came out of that <coughs> committee, and there's a, it's five or six different things, I can't yeah. remember. And you've made posters for every classroom? Almost. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we get every classroom, sorry, every classroom does have the agreement. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 And it's there so that when parents and teachers are meeting, they are all on the same page about what's mm -hmm. expected when it comes to mm -hmm. behavior. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> and then using the website more, more emails and more newsletters, which Kristen's done a great job of beefing up. And then um, the all school meetings, which Jeremy talked about, Dojo, which we've heard about. And then we are working, or there's a, s a subcommittee of teachers working on a new handbook mm -hmm. for the school. Mm -hmm. Right. We, the problem with the handbook is it's huge. Like there's it's like a manual. You, you're not yeah, gonna read exactly. It. But we keep yeah, Emma and Jeremy are part of the committee, and we keep working on it. And then we're like trying to find what, where the last copy was. You know, which one was the last mm. copy? You know, you see everything, but that right. that thing's a monster. <laughs> so we're trying to really squish it down. We are going to complete we're it. We're close. We're close. Thank you. It's yep. going to be like posted on the website, and yes, so yes, can, so if not, we have to kill a million trees. Absolutely. And right. Right. Yes, absolutely. I think the, the current one is right. We don't have it up right now because there's too many mistakes and inconsistencies. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we also <coughs> found that it had a lot of information that we didn't want. Well, it had the so. school safety map on yeah. it like we, you know yeah that's not good yeah we, like we the school and, and the evacuation plan so so did um the inter is there a date to get the intercoms fixed or did anybody get in touch with anybody about the intercoms speaking of safety or so or that stuff that we voted to, um two weeks ago because we don't have an intercom working mm -hmm. um two weeks ago two different companies came out and they looked at it, it, and they're supposed to get Bob Lesko quotes. Okay. So that's where we're at with that. Um, but we don't have a working clock system. We don't. Our intercoms mm -hmm. aren't working at the moment. Emily, tell them about your bathroom. <laughs> your bath well, I do not take responsibility oh, yeah. for time on the MCAS this year. Because <laughs> yeah. listen to this. I have been having my students sign out at the time they go to the bathroom, and if you look at the clocks, it looks like uh, it almost looks like just a bunch of threes. So. Several of the students wrote that same time every single time during the day. They wrote those <laughs> lines down. That's what they wrote. <laughs> one, one had had it four different times. <laughs> oh my god! Months ago, right? Six months ago, that was supposed to. Before I was. It was before yeah. I was. Okay. Well, yeah, and there was uh, time. There was time sensitivity to the, whatever. The Tom Warren. Yeah. Was, yeah, and one of them was the leaks in your outside of your office <coughs> drip, drip leaks yeah, yeah there's a whole did bunch that of stuff get fixed did that get fixed there's the, the, i think the only thing that lives on list right now that's been totally completed is the air conditioning in the library I've been advocating. They fixed the basketball hoop. I made sure of that. But <laughs> so, did. Yeah. That wasn't even on the list. Never mind yeah, the door that's going to take off a preschooler's toe. One of the kids <laughs> threw a basket the other day, <laughs> threw a ball the other day, just the regularly door. at the basketball. The door hoop could potentially take off just a toe. Yeah. I like it. There's a huge hole in the middle of it. Really? Yeah, right he did basketball the, season the basketball. He didn't do it hard, right? He just did it they were playing regular basketball. I went, whoop! And the whole thing just, yeah. 
I'll bring next but time the list so we can look at has has it been fixed yet? This just happened like two weeks ago. Basketball starting in a week. Oh, the one outside. I'm sorry. Oh, the one okay. outside. Oh, okay. So there wasn't that we voted on before. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, okay. So um, th thank you for uh, coming and talking to us about this stuff. I, w I would say uh, it's really important to get parents as involved as you can to really love this school because they don't come to annual meeting and vote for the budget unless they love the school. Mm -hmm. And how important it is to get parents in the mindset that supporting the school means coming to town meeting and voting. And we have 120, 130 parents if we don't get most of them that live in this town to come to town meeting, uh, everything you you know, it's not good. <laughs> we need, you know, you, you're, we're in a situation where the a selectman has already announced he's going to oppose our budget three months before the budget's worked on and ready. <laughs> before we present the budget. So, um, it's a worthy reminder in Class Dojo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, town meeting. That's right. a great idea. Yeah. We could it's continuously run a, mm -hmm. run a little bit. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and Claire has actually well, and, done and it for Pete, several schools. One of now. my favorite things about PTO yeah. is that they would have a booth at town meeting out, and they would sell shirts with sweatshirts yeah, and cookie, whatever. Sure. And just that little bit of visibility yeah. is just mm -hmm. a good thing. Mm -hmm. Advertising the child care in advance gets handfuls of parents yeah. that wouldn't ordinarily go. That's great. Claire had like sixty kids mm -hmm. with her, her and one other kid at like one child care in Northampton or something. They did wow. school. That was a little much. They managed yeah. them, but yeah. <laughs> and the the reverse of all that is that if the parents do come consistently, the budget is bulletproof. Mm -hmm. And so in the past, has it been a, a larger parent audience? M oh, my no. experience is we that... We almost always vote the school budget. So oh, yeah. it feels in, a little bit of a doom and gloomer. Yeah, the, but in, we do in have 250 years, we've this. never... we've this is, okay. this is the town in Massachusetts that in 250 years has never mm -hmm. voted its school budget down. But he's predicting it's going to happen. But, but you have more opposition. But we're, so we're, com right. we're complacent as parents, and, for and, sure, and because I, of that fact. I think we right. are. All right, yeah. we take it for granted. We're getting as more the town opposition so school. And there's never been a major political party that is so down on public education or a president that has never mentioned the word public education without the word failing in front of it. And... Um, mm -hmm. You know, we got to be on top of it. Mm -hmm. Do all the classrooms have door locks now? Didn't that get fixed? Yes, mm -hmm. they do. That was mm -hmm. last year's. Mm -hmm. okay. They do, right? Yeah. Okay. That safety thing. Got to yes, care. yes. And we've done the practice. Um, they know that if there's a lockdown, they scream it through. The, you know, you could hear Jeremy all the way down the end of the hall. Yeah. So we we have things in place. Okay. Yeah. Well, oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing I'm randomly exactly. screaming. You're just you get a lockdown when you when you shut your door. You feel locked. Well, down you know they lock. said because that school that just got hit, <clears throat> you know, had practice safety drills that they reduced fatality, the fatality mm -hmm. significantly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even the new town principal who lost her life defending her school mm -hmm. because she had implemented safe some mm -hmm. safety mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. steps before that even happened. Mm -hmm. I mean that person could have gone through that whole school with the ammunition right. he had but right you know right. principal so. and school psychologist principal mm -hmm. and school psychologist correct yeah so there's going to be estimates and it's possible we'll have a working intercom system in 2018 yes. yeah okay good good and then I was going to ask Emma just the final part of the report ask Emma to talk briefly about second steps and some of the mm -hmm. second step and some of the areas that she's hitting with the kids. So second step has been the social emotional curriculum that's been in place at Conway Grammar School for quite some time. Um, and we do have a couple of years ago updated the um, curriculum as uh, the Committee for Children updated it and um, added the bullying prevention lessons that, that I talked about a little while ago. Um, and I co-teach, uh, so preschool through grade six uh, uh, presents that curriculum throughout the school year. Um, in, for most classes, it's about 26 lessons um, that range from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You know, it's longer as, uh, for the older kids. Um, and I co-teach in many of the grades. Um, Joe Muddy teaches in third grade um, 
and the areas that are included currently include skills on skills for learning, which is really um, things like focused attention and other skills that help kids be ready to learn. Um, empathy, emotional management, um, and problem solving, social problem solving. So um, many of the, so as you've seen the posters in the hallways um, that summarize a lot of the skills that are taught, we've really worked on common language uh, among staff members and among students so that we're all working on the same concepts and um, research suggests that direct teaching of these skills is really helpful um, for students and I, I, see, I see kids use them. Um, so it's, I love that it's been in place a long time at this point in the uh, throughout the, our um, elementary schools, it's um, implemented fully, but uh, at Conway Grammar School, it's been in place for, for quite some time. Um, and all the elementary yeah. schools use it? Yeah. In this district, yeah. Well, we had just, I mean, um, you know, at the conference we all went to, there was a lot of discussion among school committee mem members from the, each of the four towns, and there's still a bit of concern about bullying um, that goes on at the middle school, and I didn't hear Frontier so much, but I did hear some concern about the middle school. Um, and I do think that is a big deterrent for parents, mm -hmm. and a, a factor that causes them to send their kids mm -hmm. to i.e. for Rivers Charter School because mm -hmm. it's smaller and it's, mm -hmm. you know, um, so it was a little concerning to hear, you know, not mm -hmm. that any school is ever perfect, you know, mm -hmm. but to hear the level of concern was still, uh, so I, I actually mm -hmm. wondered if mm -hmm. it was still implemented in all the elementary schools or, you know, how rigorously. Can't speak for the other schools. I yeah. know that here, it's fully implemented. Yeah, and and we really work on I, the bullying prevention lessons. Uh, there are four specific lessons, but um, but those concepts are reinforced by the the teachers throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. There's a peer mediation program. Has that been active? It's, it's it's, resource? Yeah, it's yeah. great. As a matter of fact, I had um, a couple little girls who were having a conflict at um, recess, and um, you know they usually love to talk. I mean, they love to talk to Emma and problem solve, but they do love to talk to me and problem solve. But they informed me they'd rather go to mediation. <laughs> uh, you know, because That's hysterical. Oh yeah, I was a little heartbroken, but I was happy. I really was oh, okay. because Chu had been there on different occasions and told me that it was very helpful. And I hadn't heard of another problem with that since the mediation. The older kids, you know, they feel so, know, it, they love it. That. They love it. Um, so yeah, the little, the little girls for me, they'd rather go to mediation than problem solve with me. I mean, very sweetly cool. and very nicely, but I think it's great. Cool. Positive. You have trained peer mediators in yes. fifth and sixth grade? So mm -hmm. Joe Saramuddy, yeah. our speech and language mm -hmm. pathologist, this is something she did at a, previous school mm -hmm. um, she asked if she could form a committee and you know and we all talked about it with Emma and um, have a little, little committee and then during the summer she did some real sort of formal training yep. and with the kids with the mediators yeah and then the and then um, this year during the school year on some of those in-service days so a fifth grader is matched with a sixth grader so that's how they do it. and then their peer peer mediators together um, and you know, kids had to volunteer if they were interested, and I think some were gun shy at first. The good news <coughs> is I think it's taking off, so we'll have more kids interested. But it's really great. They go in the room, they talk it out. The um, the kids look up. They look up to the fifth and sixth graders, mm -hmm. and um, 
think a lot's been resolved through me. There's certainly still kids that Emma works with, mm -hmm. work with but. It was the dominant model in the 90s and early 2000s. Yeah. I think it's a great complement to Second Step. It's just more <coughs> diverse tools to yeah. use. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it's really given kids great skills. And the older kids take it very seriously. Mm -hmm. Like it's their profession. Yep. You know, it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. I love it, yeah. Well, my, my daughter still talks about the girls group that they used to run here. That, that Right. Um, and boys group, whatever, which was just... Mm -hmm taking all the kids, all the girls from one grade once a month or so just for 15 minutes or half an hour and just to talk, I don't know how. But we still do, we yeah. do that, was, that too. Yeah. That, th that they do not do in every school in this district. Yeah, and yeah. That, that, I understand that is sort of a foreign concept at Deerfield Elementary. Mm -hmm. and no, I wasn't gonna right? name school, so but. but um, <laughs> yeah, super, super. Okay. So that's the right. principal's report. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's it for us. Right, right. so here's the statement. Oh, first we Nope, don't we're doing that. There's the statement. Okay. 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 So now we have to enter into executive session for the approval and release of executive session minutes dated January 16th, 2014 and January 15th, 2015. How can you deal with minutes? For Thank, you guys for being Thank, you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've never attended a meeting. I will definitely come to the budget meeting. I'll bring some friends. Great. Cool. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jeremy. It's the annual town meeting is okay. the real important yes. one. Okay. The budget meeting, the budget meeting here is really important too. Oh, but the annual town meeting, where where your vote counts at town meeting, that's where, like, all the parents just because and, and we do it first. You're out of there. You, you're out of there in like yes, like half, half an, an hour, hour, half an hour, half an hour. <laughs> but um, that's that's how the school gets funded. All right, I hear it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. And then we have to do a roll call. Yeah. I don't have the minutes. Oh, I'm just over here. Hey, what's up with you're not doing like the real Monty's March? We'd like we we're not doing the real one, huh? Yes, we are. Oh, the real one, real one. The yes, real one. They yeah, are. that's happening. We are. Yeah. Monday I, and Tuesday. To I didn't sign up because I I was too stressed They're last year. They're going from what? Like some, there's those, chocolate. There's Let's some, get to Richardson's. It's like smooth sailing. There, there <laughs> is, but Monty doesn't watch the kids. Well, the parents aren't watching their kids on five and ten. Oh. So when the kids were running along the edge of the road, I, was I don't remember about. I don't remember. Yeah. The chocolate was good. It's <laughs> long and we're still watching. Five and ten, not good. Five and ten, not good. Yeah, watching. We're yeah. doing our own real All right, I'm going, to, I'm going the real one. Yeah, right. t tell Meg. Yeah, I'll tell Meg. And th they extended it. It's longer now. Like, they said it's going to take them about 12 hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, have a, we have a bunch of kids that are doing it. Yeah. Okay. So, do we have so a video? video? No, once we do the roll call. Okay. All right. To go into so session. first, I need a motion to go into executive session, right? Yes. I get a motion to go into executive Make session. A motion to go into executive Second. Session. Sure. And then roll call, Ira, to go into executive session. Yes. Um. Yes. Aye. Ashley. Hi. Michael. Hi. Uh -oh.